His name is Lieutenant Tom McKee. To date, he's beaten 33 players. If he beats his next opponent, his winnings and cash and prizes will be over a quarter of a million dollars. In a moment, we'll find out whether Tom makes it or not as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic-Tac-Doe. And now, here's our host, Wayne Clarkdale. Thank you, our James Hall, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love it. Thank you. Well, as I said, if he wins this next game, over a quarter of a million dollars on Tic-Tac-Doe. Seems like only yesterday he started. No, it seems about six months ago. Let's meet him right now. Here is our champion. Our current champion, whose winnings total in cash and price is $248,750, is a pilot in the Navy. Meet Lieutenant Tom McKee. And his opponent, she's studying for a degree in business administration. She's president of the school's ecology club, the Dorothy Steerer. <laughs> Poor baby's got cold hands. Wow. That just are you, means I'm nervous. Are you nervous? No, not at all. What categories would you like for us to have show up on the board? What's your favorite category? Pesticides. Pesticides. <laughs> well, uh, i got to tell you about pesticides. I don't think you're good. I don't remember that one showing up on Tic Tac Doe. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. She's a very, very, very big lady in ecology, right? That's mm -hmm. the reason you said pesticides. Well, hello there, Lieutenant. How you doing? I found out something about him today I didn't know. He is a former disc jockey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he looked so honest when he first came out here. <laughs> a DJ where? At the Naval Academy. When he was going to the Naval Academy, how did that work out? I mean, why and when and how? Well, they banned the show the year after I graduated. <laughs> that says anything. What kind of music do you play, rock? <clears throat> no, we played a little bit more mellow than that, but uh, just about everything. And we'd ask trivia questions in between the, the songs that we yeah. played. Yeah. And I made up the questions for the show most Gee, of the time. Gee, what a terrific format. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they let you go from the Excuse academy. Excuse <laughs> me. Listen, he's won so much money. I got to put him now. Got to put him now a little bit every now and then. Hey, welcome back. Thanks, Wink. Good luck to you. Thank you. Let's get started. <laughs> but to put him in his place every now and then. Last show ended the tie game. Remember that, Tom? Remember that, Dorothy? And you're about to play your second game. Let's take a look at the categories. Our subjects for the game are Big and Little, the 70s, Good Guys, Bad Guys, About Words, Fairy Tales, Famous Sights, Art, and Foreign Actors, No Pesticides. Pot is worth $1,700. As we begin, Tom, you're the champion, so select. Let's take About Words in the center, Wink. All right, it's worth $300 to the pot, as you all know. The Latin term flama, which means flame, is the root for many contemporary words. I'll describe two of them, you name them. One, the fiery dance of Spain. Two, any action that is conspicuous, bold, and colorful. Here's your extra time, Tom. Latin term flama, which means flame, the root for many contemporary words. Again, I'll describe two of them and you name them. The fiery dance of Spain. Flamenco? Right. Any action that is conspicuous, bold, and colorful. Flamboyant. Yeah, that's right. Flamenco and flamboyant. Put an X there, 300 in the pot. Let's move the categories around. I wonder how many people in the audience would have gotten that one. Hey, Dorothy, select. Excuse me. Uh, let's go with the bat words again. All right, about words. Here's your question, Dorothy. This word, which describes the extended sleep-like state of animals such as bears, is derived from the Latin name for winter. Name this word. Hibernation? Yes, correct. Good for an O. An O, bottom right-hand corner of the board. Let's shuffle the categories and put another $200 in the pot. Tom, back to you. Oh. I think I'm going to try fairy tales in the right center. Fairy tales it is, and here's your question, Tom. Two German brothers who were scholars in grammar and language are best known for their collection of fairy tales, including such stories as Hansel and Gretel. Give me their family name. Grimm. Yes, the Grimm brothers. An X in fairy tales, and we shuffle, adding $200 at the pot at the same time. Playing for $2,400, Dorothy. Art. 
Ooh. We'll go for Art. Mm -hmm. Obviously going for a block of Tom with Art. Dorothy, artists Winslow Homer and James Whistler shared the same native country. Name this country and you'll block Tom. Um, the United States? Yes! You got it! We don't, we don't usually award questions like that answered with questions, but you got it right. And so that you blocked him with that. In the pot, $2,600. At this critical moment, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Art James, I have a question for you. If Tom should defeat Dorothy and one more opponent, what would that mean for this gentleman? Well, the answer is, Wink, and Tom, once again, for your driving pleasure, it's a brand new car! <laughs> And that would be seven. And then there were seven. So Tom and Dorothy, you know the stakes. Let's move the categories around. $2,600 in the pot as we shuffle. Let's continue with the next round. Wink, let's try the 70s in the lower left. The 1970s. The subject, Tom, question. When this woman was elected Prime Minister of Great Britain in 1979, she became the first woman to attain that office in any European country. Name her. Margaret Thatcher. Yes. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher of Great Britain. Put an X there. Four boxes remain in the pot, $2,800, as we again shuffle. Dorothy. Big and little to block. For a block, diagonal block, big and little to subject. Dorothy, answer this and you'll successfully block him. The Big Bend State is home to Big Bald Mountain, Big Frog Mountain, and the Great Smoky Mountains. Name the southern state and you'll block Tom. Alabama. No, my native Tennessee. Big Frog Mountain, Big Bend State, Big Ball, Great Smokies. Oh, boy. Tennessee. Still in the pot, $2,800. Four boxes left on the board as we shuffle once again. I think I'm going to go with the 70s for the win. For a diagonal win, a correct answer on the subject of the 70s would break the quarter of a million dollar mark. Tom, for better than $250,000 in cash and prizes, Here's your question. In August of 1979, United Nations Ambassador Andrew Young resigned his post because of an unauthorized meeting with a revolutionary group. <clears throat> For a total of $251,750, name the group. The PLO. Right! For <laughs> seems in Las Vegas that every time my old buddy Wayne Newton performs, he gets a standing ovation. Well, eat your heart out, Wayne. Tom, it's not every day that a person on a game show, any game show, wins a quarter of a million dollars. And that deserves a standing ovation and all the applause that you've received. Congratulations. How do you feel? $251,750. What comes to your mind first? I got to give the credit to God and my parents for helping and there's mom right out there. Mom's here. Dad, of course, watching on television. He's the scared to fly. Air. Pardon? He's scared to fly. Is he really? And he has a son who's such a fine, <clears throat> fine flyer. Tom, congratulations to you. Thank you, Wink. Dorothy, terrific couple of games. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Defeated by a... Real good champion over there. But, well, I'd uh, want to be defeated by him if I was going to be defeated by anybody. <laughs> well said, well said. But it would have been nice to be the champ. But, Dorothy, you still have $250 to show for your efforts for that tie game. God bless, and thank you for being with us. Thank you. Dorothy Steeler, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Tom, if you're ready, let's try to beat the dragon. Come on over.
behind these numbers are various amounts of money, a tick, a tack, and the dragon. Reach $1,000 or more or get the tick and the tack and you'll win a prize package. You feel like you've done this before? <laughs> I think so. Sometimes. Tom, this medley of gifts in this next prize package will enhance your musical entertainment. Art. Well, first, Tell Tom, us. let's get the show on the road with this full-range car stereo. Grundig Auto Sound, AM, FM, stereo, auto reverse cassette tape, and GR elect speaker system. Automatic eject when switched off from Grundig Auto Sound. And next, Tom, the music goes round and round on this reel-to-reel -reel stereo tape deck. The Akai Open Reel Automatic Reverse Record and Playback Stereo Tape Deck. Equipped with Akai's exclusive GX heads, which are guaranteed for over 17 years of continuous play. Akai, you never heard it so good. And then, Tom, you'll enjoy the music, the glitter, the chorus girls, when we send you to a sensational musical review in Las Vegas. We'll fly into Las Vegas, Nevada's largest city, with its large, luxurious gambling casinos. Busy nightlife, elaborate shows that attract visitors from all parts of the world. You'll enjoy a round-trip flying holiday for two via Western Airlines to Las Vegas, Nevada. America's favorite playground. Western offers more flights daily to Las Vegas than any other airlines. Western Airlines, the only way to fly. While there, you'll stay at Del Webb's Sahara, Las Vegas, where you can enjoy it all. From superstar entertainment in the Congo showroom, Casbar Theater, to superb dining and six gourmet restaurants. But Tom, let's make it a duet. You can see a Broadway musical when we send you to New York City. We'll fly you first class to New York for one wonderful week. You'll sightsee marvelous Manhattan. Give our regards to Broadway. Compliments of Club Interworld. This musical package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $4,000. Well, that's one of the biggest prize packages we've ever offered on Tic Tac Toe. Avoid the drag line. I want them to come through. I want that reel-to-reel -reel special. Do you really? All right. Defeat the dragon and you got it. Avoid the dragon or you lose everything. You know that. Get the tick and the tag. You automatically get the dough. Let's move them around. Let's shuffle them all around. Cover them up. Who's going to be first? We got a whole front row out there. Uh, Tom McKee's fan club, including gotta his with, wife. Got to go with Jenny. All right, Jenny. What's the press? Seven again. Lucky Number seven. That's the decision. Number seven, bottom left corner of the board. That's the beginning point every time for Jenny and Tom. $250. $750 more. Where do we move them? Tick. Tick, what do you think? Number five in the center. That's been the pattern for them all along for the past couple of days, and it's come out lucky for them. What's behind number five? 400 bucks. 650. Going to Brown. What do you think? He wants three again. Okay. Number three, all right. Going to complete it up there, top right-hand corner for a diagonal. What do we have behind three? You're a winner! You haven't lost uh, in this particular phase of our game. Well, was, well you, we know about the other game. You haven't lost to this one in a long time. I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, really. And they seem to pick the right numbers they for do. you every They're time. They're awful good. They're awful good. All right, now I'm going to see how good they really are. I'm going to go back out to your mom. Tick, let me ask you a question, dear. You pick number five. You pick the center every time you've selected for him for the past couple of days. Tell me, where's the dragon? What number would you stay away from? Number four? All right, she says the dragon's behind number four. We're going to find talk. it. She only has her phone. <laughs> What's behind? Oh, no, $300 There's worth. There's one I haven't asked. I haven't asked Paula a question, and I bet she knows where it is. Okay, Paula, where is the dragon? Two. Number two. She would stay away for number two had she called out a number. Was she right? Was the dragon behind number two? No. All right, audience, where is the dragon? I heard an eight. I heard a nine. I heard a six, and I heard a one. Let's see, where is the dragon on the board? Behind number nine. I did hear more nines, I think, than any other number. So your grand total now, you're well over the, the quarter of a million dollar mark. Your grand total, including that reel-to-reel -reel you wanted so badly, the trip to New York, going to Broadway, all of those cash prizes and the cash, of course, that you've won, comes to a grand total of $255,900. $100 short of $256,000. we are going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Every time Tom comes out here on a new show, he breaks a new record on Tic Tac Toe, and with every dollar, he breaks, he breaks a record and makes it even higher and harder for somebody else to break. Who's going to finally do it? Maybe it'll be this next opponent. Who do we have, Art? He's a buyer of antique china and crystal who once worked as a dancer in a nightclub for women only. Meet Ron Allen.
Now, wait a minute. What? <laughs> a dancer in a nightclub for women only, is that what I think it is? It's exactly what you think it is, yes. It's a place like where you, the women go to watch the men dance, and they're very enthusiastic about it. Yeah, so the women really like the show. Huh? They love it. Yeah. They really do. <laughs> you should see the tips. <laughs> and how you get them. I'm not going to pursue that at all. This might be a silly question, but I'm known for asking some silly questions. I got to ask, are you married? You ready for a silly answer? Yeah, no, I'm not married. <laughs> I'm a bachelor. Bachelor. Mm -hmm. Bachelor. You know what a bachelor is. They're easy to spot. They're the ones who are footloose and fiance free. <laughs> oh. Oh. Goodbye. Hey, Ron, welcome to our show. Thank you. Mike. May we pursue this if you're around long enough? I'll have to think about it. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the board. Tom, Ron, think about these subjects as we begin our game. Suitable titles, male singers, female achievers, comic books, the Bible, TV stars, travel. Hey, there's the secret category. That could be any category at all. And a correct answer in that category doubles the pot. To round out the categories on the board, number nine, men of the sea. Tom? The Bible in the center. In the center, the Bible is the subject. Tom, here is your question. According to the Old Testament, Aaron built a golden animal for the Israelites to worship while Moses was absent on Mount Sinai. One, what type of animal was it? And then secondly, what was Aaron's family relationship to Moses? And I'll give you a few seconds to dwell on that. Based on the Old Testament, Aaron built a golden animal for the Israelites to worship while Moses was absent on Mount Sinai. What type of animal was it, Tom? It was a golden calf. The calf, right. What was Aaron's family relationship to Moses? He was his brother. Correct! An X in the center box, $300 in the pot. Let's shuffle. <laughs> Moving over to Ron Allen. Let's go with male singers in the bottom right. All right, here's the question, Ron. This country superstar once performed with the Chad Mitchell Trio before becoming a successful solo artist. His big hits include Rocky Mountain High and Take Me Home Country Roads. Name him. John Denver. Yeah, gotta be John Denver. First go on the board for Ron. Male singers. Let's move the categories around and add $200 to the pot. Worth 500, huh? Wink, let's go with suitable titles in the bottom center. Okay, here's the question. Unlikely as it seems, after filming a 1939 movie classic, the film's young singing star might have sung the song, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Name her. Judy Garland. Yeah. The film was The Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland. She put an X in suitable titles and shuffle again. Playing for $700 now, Ron. I'm going to have to take the secret category to block. Top center for a vertical block. Secret category. Answer this question and the pot will double to $1,400. For a block, here's the question. The secret category is on American coins. American coins. Before the Jefferson nickel was minted, American five-cent pieces carried the picture of an animal that gave that coin its nickname. To make that pot jump to $1,400, Ron, name the animal. Buffalo. Yeah, the buffalo nickel. Good for a block. Put it over there. Let's shuffle. Pot now worth $1,400. Tom, your pick. Wink, I'll go with uh, male singers in the top right. Okay, Tom, singer Frankie Valli was the lead vocalist for this popular group, <clears throat> whose hit songs included Sherry and Big Girls Don't Cry. You're smiling. Name the group. The Four Seasons. Yes, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Put it next there, another 200 to pop. Four boxes left as we shuffle. Pot worth $1,600, Ron. See if you can I'll go to that. the bottom left with male singers. Male singers again. Popular category, Ron. Many Americans were first introduced to calypso music by this famous singer. In 1957, his hit single entitled Banana Boat Song sold over a million records. To block Tom, diagonally name him. Harry Belafonte. Yes! Yeah. Diagonal block for Harry Belafonte's name. In the pot now, $1,800. We'll be back to our game of tic-tac-toe in just a moment. As we leave you for another week, $1,800 in the pot. Anybody can still win. Anybody can still lose. We might have a tie game. Who knows what's going to happen? But welcome to our show. Thank Congratulations. You. Continued good luck to you and to you, Big Tom. 
Mrs. Leonard Brennan of Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, sent me this. And, Tom, you'll like this. It says, Tic-Tac-Toe, Tom McKee, congratulations. This is our Friday hat, and I love it. Hold that for me, Chief. Oh. <laughs> is that outstanding? Is it absolutely outstanding? And Mrs. Brennan, I'll put it on him while we roll the credits. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. America. And it's your turn to get lucky. Join Richard Karn and Diane Mazzotta on a brand new season of Bingo America. Print your daily bingo card at gsn.com slash bingo and play